So in this mental health vlog, I kind of wanted to talk about something I'm noticing on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so I feel like she was like a pretty popular YouTuber, Gabby Hanna. She's been on YouTube for years, um, but I, I think she started off as, I don't know, Vines or something. I didn't watch her, I didn't follow her um, at all. And then really recently, okay, so I guess, was it last year? I started noticing something about the meme, the monster meme, because she had a song. I was like, oh, I guess this chick has songs. I didn't know anything about the song, but then I, I'm always wanting to know like what people are making fun of or whatever and why. And so I saw sort of got into that a little bit, but then again, I still didn't really look her up or watch her because I was just like, whatever, I don't really care. But then I started seeing this recent drama of this ex-friend of hers coming out, like a couple YouTubers being like, she's manipulative, she's basically evil, like, so go attack her. And um, I find it, it's just interesting because this is not just a Gabby Hanna situation, but this is like a Haley Baldwin, like, or Haley Bieber, sorry. This is like a lot of people who are famous and like when people are fans, like the Selena Gomez, like when people are fans of one person feeling like they have to demonize the other person in a situation. So, okay, I'm going to get into that in a bit, but the, the, the Gabby Hanna thing. So once they were so negative, like this, I don't even know what this girl's name, this, this ex friend of hers and then Trisha Paytas, I think was the other one. Once they were really negative, that's what piqued my interest. I was like, okay, I actually want to know if they're so negative. Like, I want to see myself, right? I go to Gabby Hanna's channel and I look at pretty much... And then here's the thing, I actually got sucked in. Like, as in, like, I saw some of her old videos and I was like, whoa, these are addictive. Their negativity ended up making me kind of subscribe to Gabby Hanna. Because, like, on my own, I couldn't find anything that you know, like, agreed with what they said. But all that being said, you know, I didn't want to, like, demonize them or anything. I mean, I'm sure they have... Okay, actually, I'm not sure. They could be making it all up. But I suppose they must have legitimate reasons for feeling really upset towards Gabby. But in the end, what I took away was Gabby's not perfect, but I'm not going to, like, saint them and expect them to be perfect either. I wasn't there. I saw, like texts or whatever that was, you know, out of, kind of, like, it, it was all kind of manipulated by them, and so I, you know, in the end, people usually choose a side, you know, unless you're neutral, so you either look at the thing, you look at both sides, and you're just like, I, I really can't give a shit about this, sorry for my language, but like, I just can't, I don't care, so I'm just gonna leave it be, right, and I, I could have been like that, but in the end, I actually ended up thinking, I like Gabby more, I connect with her more, and I know people will be so mad because it's like, we wanna hate her, because it's, it's the cancel culture, it's the get on the bandwagon, you know, jump off the cliff because I did, you know, like, you've gotta hate her too. I'm like, I don't have personal beef with her. If she personally manipulated me, I'm sure I would personally be upset, but she didn't. And even if she like, I don't even, again, I don't even wanna just listen to hearsay. Because I've dealt with this kind of sick sort of gossip and like this not addressing someone directly sort of thing my whole life personally. And I'm like, unless I see you guys have a conversation and I'm like, whoa, she's acting freaky, you know, whatever. But if you're not having a direct conversation, you're just posting this video about it, which you have every right because look at me, I'm doing it. Like we all have the right to do opinions, but then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have my own and it's probably not going to be popular. My opinions are never popular. But sorry, like, I think Gabby's cool. I'm sorry. Um, I think her music's good too. And whenever I look at her recent videos and all the comments that I can see are just nothing but, talk about the drama, you've gotta talk about it. Gabby doesn't have to talk about it. She's trying to live her life. It's probably gonna break, like, it's... Sorry, I'm getting too riled up about this. I mean, I don't, I'm not that, like, I must sound really upset about it. I'm not that upset, but, it is annoying. 
And then going back to the Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber reference. So it's interesting that I'm even taking this side because I'm a Selena Gomez fan first and foremost. I watched Wizards of the Waverly Place, Waverly Place. I got into her music. Um, as early as it came out. My name, well, I went by Alex. I, I prefer Alexandra, but you know, her character's name in Wizards is Alex. Whatever. Um, she was a, a girl named Alex, so I thought it was cool. Whatever. Um, Selena, I always connected with and loved. Um, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Um, Justin Bieber was more my sister's jam. My sister went to the Justin Bieber movie. She had a poster of him. I never hated on him. Because again, like, there was that bandwagon hate for Justin Bieber, like, people just, like, making fun of his hair or whatever. Because he's popular, right? That's the same thing with Gabby. You, know? you want to hate someone popular. I never hated on him. I never was a fan like my sister was. But, I, like, every so often a song would come out and be like, he's talented. Like, I've got to acknowledge it. Um, but then there would also be songs where it's like, well, that's not that good. But that's like any artist. Like, even... I'm a huge fan of Taylor Swift, and there are even songs of hers where I'll be like, it's not that great, but I still love you, and I appreciate your effort, and like, it's just my opinion, right? Because you can't like every single song. I'm sorry. You can. You can pretend. Well, I do love all her songs, but like, there are some that are just not my favorite ones. <laughs> Whatever. But so the, the recent stuff with Justin getting married, and he did all this stuff where I was frankly unimpressed. So, from looking at both sides of the story, like, obviously he came out with that long kind of apology. It was a general apology, like, to everyone ever, because, like, the kind of drug use he had at that time of his life or whatever. But, so there are two reasons why I could easily just slam Justin and rant about how I hate him. Two reasons. One, because of the fact that he was a horrible boyfriend to Selena. Um, you know, a cheater, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then marrying another girl, like, a couple months after seeing Selena a couple years ago. You know, like, all this sort of stuff to make, you know, the way he treats some of his fans, the way he's freaked out at concerts, the way he talks to freaks out paparazzi. There's a lot of reasons on that side. Then, on the Taylor Swift side, the fact that he still has a manager, Scooter Braun, and all that, there's... A, there, okay, there's those two, not a lot of reasons, but there's two, like, big, like, if I'm in, you know, if I'm a fan of Selena and Taylor, I could just, right? And so then he marries Haley, and so I could pour hate on her. But I don't. Do you know why? Because it's none of my actual business. I can have an opinion. I can be upset with him all I want, but I don't actually know him. I wasn't actually there. All I know is I'm a fan of Selena. And that doesn't mean I even can't be a fan of him. For example, like, when he came out with his new song, Yummy, I was like, I don't need, like, aside from all the whatever personal drama or whatever, whoever's manner, manager is, I never want to deprive myself of a new catchy song. So I listened to it, look at the video. I'm like, his, his hair, his pink hair is pretty much the coolest thing. But other than that, like, Yummy was actually, like, knowing that he's capable of more, that was, like, the lamest song ever. And I'm not saying it because of like personal stuff. I'm saying like, I like if I had a personal issue to the extent where I was like hating on him, I wouldn't even listen to Yummy because I just be like, you know, nothing he does is good. That's not the truth. Like, I think that even if I have issues with stuff he has done, I don't think that either he can't have a clean slate or personally, or he can't make good music, okay? I can separate it. Um, so all that being said, like, you know, some of Selena's fans like attack Haley. That reminds me of people with Gabby. So, like, I can... It's not even... I wouldn't even call it playing the devil's advocate because Haley, like, she isn't Justin. She didn't do that stuff to Selena. Like, okay, like, she's biased because she's married to Justin. So she probably, you know, has a completely biased view of Selena and all that sort of stuff and the scooter situation. But she's still her own person, and I think it's totally wrong to just, like, attack her for something her husband did. Or You know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, I feel bad for her in some ways because of how I've seen his track record with girls. Like, I, I in a way, don't want her to be married to him. But at the same time, it's like, if she wants to be married to him, I can't control that. And she should be. If she wants to be happy and that's what makes her happy, maybe they're what's right for each other. I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go to her Instagram and hate her. Um, and in fact, maybe I don't follow her, but maybe I will. She, she seems, you know, whatever. 
the reason I'm, I'm drawing Selena, because it's not about Selena versus Haley. It's about the fans. It's about the following. So the people who are actually attacking Gabby on her videos now isn't even that girl who made that stupid video. She's not even wasting her time going on doing that. She stated her opinion and then she moves on. It's the people who watch the video, then they go to Gabby's. Do they even make videos on YouTube? Are they just there as trolls? Like, I don't even know. But all I know, it's like, sometimes, you know, you end up liking an underdog. Sometimes you're like, even if this person is a horrible person, like, I'd rather like them because of all the hate they're getting. You know, that sounds silly. Like, obviously, like, if someone like Hitler gets a lot of hate, you know, he deserves it. Like, he's, he's evil. You know, like, there's no question. But Gabby, I mean, when you make those serious accusations against someone who might not be guilty of them, you know, like, you have no actual... You're just making judgments based on hearsay or this or that or something you see on the screen that's clipped and edited. It's kind of, it, it's it's undermining or undervaluing, I don't know what the word is, but it's making actual evil seem not, like it's making actual important issues seem not as, like you shouldn't put that at the same level. You know, like there are actual important issues. There's actual people who are evil and manipulative that, that should be dealt with. Then there are people who just either get over it, move on, leave it alone. Because drawing attention, see, your attention is making me um, give more pot. Your negative attention is making people like me.